Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome electric guitar soloing lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which you're gonna learn this beautiful Spanish soloing line. Right? So beautiful, right? And the cool thing about this is that it's a holy legato line, meaning that you only pick once. You only pick the first note and all the rest are hammered on and pulled off. Now, I'm gonna talk later on in this lesson on uh, which scale, okay, this is, okay, and how you can use it in any key that you're in. Um, this is in B. Okay, so it's in B Phrygian, Phrygian flat five, if you want to be exact. Okay, so um, again, this is all hammer-ons and pull-offs. So you start with seven, eight, and 10 on the first string. So it's seven, eight, 10, eight, seven. Okay, you hammer on and pull off. Now, after you do that, you hammer on 10 on the second string with your little finger, and then you do the same thing, okay? You pull off to eight and seven, and then again, you play eight, 10, eight, seven. So basically on the second string, you play 10, eight, seven, eight, 10, eight, seven, okay? So you hammer on, you start with a hammer on on the second string with your little finger. Okay, that was the end of the line. Okay, after you do the whole back and forth lick on the second string, you slide down to five. Okay, so it was seven, eight, ten, eight, seven on the first string, hammer on to ten on the second string, and then eight, seven, eight, ten, eight, seven, slide to five. Okay, slide to five. And then you do exactly the same idea. Okay, it's exactly the same idea, up and down, the scale. So now you're on five, so you do a, uh, you do seven, eight, seven, five. Okay, seven, eight, seven, five. So you slid down and then. Okay, got it? It's just up and down, up and down, and you move between scale positions. So after you slide to five on the second string, you hammer on seven, eight, and then pull off to seven, five. And then this is where the, the Phrygian flat five comes in. Because after you do this, okay, after you slide, you hammer on eight on the third string, you pull off to seven to five, and then you slide down to four, okay? This is your last note. So um, you can also play up and down if you want. You can do this. Okay? But for my taste, this becomes a little too repetitive, a little too predictable, okay? It's a little bit too much, okay? So the whole lick, You see, if you, uh, if you want to play that up and down phrase on the third string, just don't play the up and down phrase on the second string, okay? Remove one phrase and just add it later on. So you, you can basically just play this phrase any way you want. This is just a suggestion, okay? You can do the up and down any way you want. You can also start from, um, uh, well, you can start from up above, you can start from below, and you can just use this pattern, okay, this up and down pattern with the hammer on on the next string with basically any scale that you want. 
Okay. So uh, this is in B. This is uh, a B Phrygian flat five line. And the cool thing here is that it starts from B. It starts it starts from B. Now this this line actually works well with E minor as well because that B7 leads you to E minor. So you can also say that this is an E harmonic minor line, E harmonic minor. But because it starts from B, it's a lot easier to think about it as B Phrygian flat five. Now, if you need help with theory or hearing the modes or learning modes, I have the Break Your Boundaries course program, which is now 25% off for the summer. So check it out, lickandref.com slash courses. Okay, it's the best advanced courses that you'll ever find. Okay, all the courses online are basically for beginners to intermediate. This is here to take you from intermediate to advanced. So check it out, the Break Your Boundaries course program. Right now there are 14 courses in the program and I, I release a new course every single month. So you have 25% off for the summer, lickandref.com slash courses, check it out. So. If let's say you're in A minor and you're playing that A minor Spanish chord progression, A minor, G, F, and E, or E7. Then you want to play this in E. You want to start from E, okay? Because it's the E Phrygian scale, okay? Or the A harmonic minor scale. So you want to start this from the E note, okay? That seventh chord at the end, that dominant chord. So you will start from E, you will start from 12, and it, it will look exactly the same. You see? If you, let's say, you have, uh, you, you can also play this outside the Spanish framework. You can, uh, Basically, every time you have this dominant chord, you can use the Phrygian scale to add extra flavor. It might take you a little while to get used to the idea, but you can, uh, you can do it. So let's say if we're in, let's say, A okay, or D minor, and we have A7 or A major. you can use this scale. It's just like any other mode, okay? You don't have to play this legato line per se, but you can use this scale, okay? So take this legato line, and then you can just use this scale and play anything you want in the Phrygian flat five mode. So um, go check out my courses, lickandrefcom slash courses, and I will see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now, have fun.